I feel bad now. I just went and ruined Harry's story. <laughs> nope. You haven't. <laughs> See, thing. You're the only one who knows right now that something's up. Yeah. And there's, a, this shit. and there's a thing that DMs do called lying. Yep, yep. <laughs> Time honored DMs tradition. There we go. So, just to check, what have each of you brought along as a wedding gift? Uh, oh. Uh, I, I have brought the bow that saved me in, in a Shadowland expedition I went on. Well, the wedding gift would be something provided by your family. It's not something necessary. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. My my father gave me something. I don't know what it is. I don't know. You know I got a box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's a very nice box, but yeah. that's the wedding gift. Uh, it, was, it was wrapped before I got it. I don't know. I shit, I have to make something up now. I'm guessing they wouldn't accept something that's Gaijin in nature. It would be seen as a rather odd gift. Well, I guess the tallest people are odd, aren't they? Uh, anybody who's got lore history can give me a roll on that. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. No, I don't have history. I just have Lord Crane and Lord Shadowland, so nope. Oh, well, that's intelligence, I believe. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. just, a, it's just a straight up intelligence roll. Four. Teen. Could, could I just bring a really good bottle of wine? Saki. Saki. Yes. Yes. Um, Is a really good bottle of sake something Phoenix could make? Oh, yes. Everyone can make sake. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, actually, what I do know about the Akita family is that they are the cavalry force of the Lion Clan. So something horse related. Seems an acceptable gift. Okay, it is a bottle of sake, and the bottle is in the shape of a horse. There you go. <laughs> Very unicorn. Okay, I shall. I'll bring them. Uh, I I bring them the gift of a premium made saddle from the Unicorn Clan, even though I'm tortoise. I'm using my allies' connection. Yep, that's perfectly acceptable. I'm going to bring them a painting of a famous battle in which they partook with their cavalry, painted by one of my siblings. Yep. Painted entirely in crayon. <laughs> no, that, that's the crab way of painting. We He's getting a painting. Well, what, what are the crab bringing? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. What is the crab bringing? What's in the box? What's in the box? box? I'll open the box and look. Oh, it's... Uh, a jade horse figurine. What's it got in his boxes? My precious. Yes, a jade horse figurine. It's probably just some mud from the wall, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna bring a, a bell, a, a, a bridle with uh, a series of bells attached. Finely tuned to create a pleasing sound while riding. Okay. Better than my crappy thing. Well, just bear in mind, you know, it's somebody else in your family that made the decision. You just have to present it. Exactly. Yeah. This is where sincerity comes in useful. Oh, shit. Yeah, sorry. I made sure to take at least one rank in sincerity. Yeah, I, I should have had, but I could. Lion aren't big on the magics, are they? Um, they're, they're mainly a uh, a uh, bushy clan, aren't they? Well, every clan has magic to some degree. Uh, the lions, I think, focuses a lot on talking with their ancestors. Hmm. That's something that their shikenja specialize in. Uh, I guess there's nothing really our guys would be able to provide for that. Yeah, okay. Why, so you're not going to give them anything? No, a ton of sa a ton of sake. Okay, I forgot that was yours. A slab across in, the face. in bottles in the shape of horses. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Keep in mind, even things like a poem is an acceptable wedding gift. I was going to say or a fine piece poem, of poem, but it was like, who the hell writes poems about horses? This, this is what I had. I had the fucking 
the bow and it's, it's very personal and here have this no well, come on. phoenix is potentially the worst freaking clan for this because we're all about magic <laughs> We have one bushy group. That's it. One bushy like, skook. Um, the guy's family line done up in a uh, you know beautiful calligraphy. Okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> or the family line of the, the bride and groom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And sake. And sake. Of course. Of course. Like, why won't I sake? You're just trying to sweeten the deal, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got this. I'm just going to say it's a good thing that Toby isn't here because he'll just bring a hundred. Pony related items for them, yeah. and then keep them all. This is this is perfect. It's like, yeah, he's not here, and this is all, it's just horses everywhere. Not that many horses. Yes, enough horses. Have, have the Spider Clan bought brought a sixty foot? It don't exist yet. Little horse. Yes. Yeah. Wouldn't they horse will in the future? Spoilers. So, you arrive at the Aikido family residence. It's a large two-story samurai home surrounded by a wide expanse of walled garden. You know, there are several other buildings inside. It's like a little estate of its own. Um, you can see an obvious dojo, a large stable, exercise yards for horses. Flight servants hold open the gates to the residence. A uh, young man in, looks like lion colors, waits for you on the front steps of the house. Zimba. Greetings, honor guests, he says with a bow. You honor my family and my wedding by coming to partake in lion hospitality. Please enter and be welcome in our humble home. From the way he's talking, you'd guess this is the groom, Akida Akimitsu. He's the son of the family daimyo. Ah, the groom then. And this would be an ideal time to present your gift. Hey, thank you for your kind invitation. Uh, may your wedding. May... Oh, sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I am Kitsuka. Kits... Fucking hell, what's the fucking family <laughs> name? <laughs> I'm Kitsuki Okichi. I, I remember my given name, but I'm Kitsuki Okichi, uh, representing the uh, Dragon Clan. I am honored for you to be here with us. Please uh, accept this gift. Uh, what the fuck is the wording? Ah, fuck the wording. Uh, to celebrate this day, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I can't, I can't figure it out right now. Very eloquent. Yes. Yeah, I know. You want to just give me an etiquette roll then? <laughs> yeah, blah blah. This uh, guy has an etiquette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just have it. Come on. <laughs> Just don't roll the two. Don't roll the two. Etiquette. That's awareness. So that's five. Keep two. Ooh, 38. Oh, yeah. You have flawless words. He is humbled by your <laughs> courtly skills. He <laughs> <laughs> so, comes up. Oh, is this the place? Are you the guy? Yeah, I'm that dude. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 sepa the separation of roles and RP. Right. Yeah. You've got the choice. You can either role play it out or you can make the dice roll. <laughs> yeah, but you're not going to get the bonus XP for not role playing it. <laughs> yeah, I need to get better at this. It's a new set, new set, yeah, new setting yeah. system. That's why I'm easing you into it. it is yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'll introduce myself. Greetings. I am Hida Noburo of the of the Crab family. Crab clan. Sorry. <laughs> there is nobody other than the crab that you could be. Exactly. He's, he has to look up, you know, craning his yeah. head. <laughs> uh, thank you for welcoming, for welcoming you in, into your home for this wonderful occasion. A gift from my family to yours. It's a, a G8 statue of a horse. Ah, thank you. Mine. Sorry? No, go ahead. Uh, mine from our jade mines, a graphic by our artisans. Given how much better use the crab have for Jade, I am honored beyond words. This is too fine a gift. But I just bow. Sorry, Grump. Just remember, it's... Uh, you can offer it again. Oh, shit, my fault. Of course, yes. Or you can just make the dice roll for etiquette. Um, I think this... Uh, 
Oh no, no, please, please. We we have plenty of jade. This is a this is a gift from from my family to yours. Please, I will be humble if you would you, you would accept it. You do me honor beyond my station. I could not possibly accept. Please, please. It's it's it is nothing. It it, it is a drop in the oceans of our all. Oh, of our minds and all. It's 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 something we can afford for such a wonderful occasion. Then I would be honored to accept it. Thank you. I wanted that you would accept it. Walk like bitches. I like that sigh that just <laughs> yeah. you can tell he doesn't like doing the the official thing. I was, I was just like expecting like this like um ah uh, what was her, what's her face from Father Ted, Mrs Doyle. I'll just go on, go on. You can take this. Now <laughs> get the fucking drink. Just oh, keep in it... mind though, I mean, you don't want to say it's uh, a very small minor gift either, because that could be taken as an insult, particularly by a lion. Oh yeah, you know, this is nothing. It's just a very small thing. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I, was, I, was, I was more meaning like the whole, you know, well, but yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're right. <laughs> you should not shut that off. When you started saying it's a drop in the ocean compared to what we usually mine, that sounded very boastful. Well, it, yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> Thing is, samurai are boastful. Ah. That kind of goes with the territory. It's finding that line between too much and not enough. Yeah, to find that sweet spot. Keep in mind that the normal use for jade is for fighting the Shadowlands creatures. So by giving away jade, you know this is something. You know, it's not weapons grade plutonium, but it is really, really valuable in the military sense yeah. to the, the crab class. Hey, this could have been ten spears. Yeah. It could have been a scotch so. Once this jade is gone, it doesn't come back. There's no way to repurify jade. This is true. So this is actually a very significant gift from the crab clan. At least in the terms of how they would see it. It's only a model. <laughs> <laughs> Well, technically, it is the model of a small horse, Chip. So, my turn? If yep. you want to go next. Go on, Hans, I know. My name Actually, is Kazuka Chipu from the Tosh's family. Hold on a second. Um, as, as the minor clan representative, you'll oh, go last. Oh, I'm there. You'll go last. Oh, oh, so I'm going time. home. <laughs> Free it get, so. the, get the fuck out of here, small fry. Okay, I... Yeah, guess I'll go next then. <laughs> I'm going to pee on the saddle. I'm going to smell real bad. You'd probably... <laughs> if you've gotten to know each other, you'd probably present an order of rank. Uh, I, I arrived before all these clowns. Yes. Well, yeah, you're, 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 you're the homecoming guy. Yeah. Wait, why the fuck did Igor go second? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be out, I'm not going to be outdone by Igor. Get out of the way. Get out of the edge. I'm going next. Uh oh, dueling coming. <laughs> so I'm One second. I, I'm. I'm it's all very funny. Finding a script. No, 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 no. I'm not going to joke about this. I just, think, I just need to get stop laughing. <laughs> what are you serious business? Yeah. Ooh. You can't fuck up these greetings, you know. Well, <clears throat> girlfriend. Uh, what's what's his bloody name again? Let's see, Kara Ikimichi. Or is that the bride? Did I mix it up? Kara Ikimichi. I knew I I mixed up their surnames. I Ikida Akamitsu. Yeah, potato, potato. Uh, I need to write this down again. Kita san, thank you for welcoming me to your to your, to your wedding. I am uh, Kakita Hanabi of of the Crane Clan. Uh, we are honoured that you've invited a representative from our clan to your to this prestigious wedding. Uh, Neji san, come forward. So I call my servant, who's been carrying the painting this whole time. Um, here, here is a painting of, of a scenery featuring your finest cavalry painted by my dear sister. I will hope you take this gift. I would thank you, but um, 
it's too fine of a gift. Um, we cannot appreciate art quite as well as the Korean clan. Please, I, I, my, my sister insists that you have this painting. She, she, she painted this just for you. I am honored by your sister's recognition, but I have done nothing to deserve such a fine gift. Please. <laughs> well, go on. <laughs> the part nonsense is getting a bit irritating. Uh, uh, yeah. That's uh, why I offered the etiquette roll and said it's simple. <laughs> well, you can do it. Oh, fuck it. I'm doing the etiquette roll. <laughs> <laughs> what he's going to do is to play off what the other person has responded with. He said it's too fine for him to present it to his family. Or to his line. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it, well, if you will not accept it, please let your family accept it, since it features members of your clan. So the rest of your family will surely appreciate this fine gift. Well, on behalf of my family, I accept. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, would the priest up? The priest be next. <laughs> Yes, and then the uh, yeah. smuggler, I guess. Okay, then. Uh, I approach. I say uh, greetings. I am Agesha Akiko. I am representing the Phoenix Clan, as we are so honoured by your invitation. Uh, in honour of your marriage, uh, we I present to you a tapestry the, detailing the lineage of both yourself and your future wife. And also this crate of really awesome sake. But wait, there's more! Look, look, they're bottle horses! Bottle horses! <laughs> oh, we all will the flame. Too bad. Your presence here is gift enough. I could not possibly accept all of this. God damn it, that wasn't all I was hoping you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Your presence here will bring the, re the blessings of the kami to our wedding. What oh. more could we ask for? The lessons of the kami are merely a bonus. <laughs> Please, accept the tapestry, if not for you, for your wife. Um, also, the sake. Party. Party, <laughs> 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 oh, I would be a poor host if I could not provide sake for you coming to my house. It is too fine of a gift. Too much. But bottle horses. <laughs> <laughs> that is not an appropriate way to respond. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently I'm killing people. <laughs> the camera oh, having a laughing fit in the background. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh my god. You okay? Let's <laughs> samurai response ever. Oh my lord. <laughs> Like, I know, I know, the kami, kami, but look, but I says, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I came up with that idea, I had to commit with it. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to drink, drink this, right? Oh. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Shall sure, I just do the etiquette roll? Because I'm not sure I can do another, I'm not sure I can do a serious <laughs> response. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, okay, right, three, two, two. <laughs> no, it's, it, what's your etiquette? Uh, my etiquette is rank one, and, oh. I've, and it's based off of awareness. Awareness, which is two. Yeah. It's gonna be a tagline for the entire oh. fucking game, isn't it? Go but on, go on. on, go on. We cannot accept this, but you must. Yeah, but we roll, can't accept this. <laughs> but you roll the twelve, so that should be a pass. Twelve is fine. Yes. <laughs> you can do something suitable to wrap up the gift giving ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> so, so somewhere, somewhere in the spiritual plane, you see the fire cami riding the bottle horses. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, my stomachs. <laughs> you have more? Yeah. All of them hurt. <laughs> Some kind of cow hybrid. Is that right? Well. Okay, Tortoise, you're up. <laughs> uh, I hope, I hope in honor of this greatest of events, I bring you the gift of a legendary 
Unicorn, uh, unicorn's ancestor saddle handed down to my family through generations. A saddle worthy of the fiercest battle maiden, I assure you. That is a very fine gift indeed, but I do not think my wife will be uh, participating in too many battles. It is, it is too fine for us. Anyone can be a, fa a fierce cavalry master, great horse lord. I know that your family proud themselves in the quality of their husbandship. This is true, but not even... Uh, even we must defer that the unicorn are by far the, the best horse. It, it's too fine a gift. I cannot accept. We truly believe that your family is worthy of this great saddle from the Utaku family. We wish this saddle to live on in battle for glory once more. Glory that they cannot find in the tortoise family, I'm afraid. Then to honor the spirit of the saddle and the giver, we accept. Thank you. Nailed it. Drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Now, have you seen a big furry creature? <laughs> Name a big from crab. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. I heard him. He's <laughs> bathing. I think that's a good moment to take a 30 second break and grab myself a refill. So, <laughs> smoke them if you got them. Yeah. I need to find a picture of a. <laughs> Yeah, I'm Googling, I'm Googling horse model. <laughs> this is painful. <coughs> of course, the first classy thing I come to is actually this. Uh. Let's see. Um, I'll, I'll link it. I'll put it in the mumble. God damn it. That's the first thing you, you get when you... When you Horse bottle. <laughs> no, I know that's that's the first thing that comes. The horse bottle holder. Oh, here we go. Oh my fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? Actual horse bottle here. Yeah. I think it's gonna be the tagline in the whole series. This horse bottle. Mm. What horse bottles? <laughs> party, party. <laughs> All of your finest drink, as long as it is in horse form. You know, I'm, re I'm really glad you don't you have to drink from the top of the head, not, a, not from something else. Yes. <coughs> that was physically painful. That was very... <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. This is just the first conversation. Yeah, exactly. Like we haven't even gone to the official wedding. Crap, yet. Oh my god. <laughs> gonna be... It's gonna be golden. Horse oh, so models! Horse models! <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, you, 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 you've broken us. You've broken this... You've broken the scenario. This group... <laughs> At the fucking front door. Is this, is this the new meme of our of our of, our, of this campaign? I think it is. Yeah. Now already. It's, horse it's, bottle. Yeah. It's so, it's, so, so what? We're, we're, we're replacing fire with horse bottles. Yep. Well, fire is the new horse. Horse horse bottles filled with fire. Well, suck it. Traditional drunk and warm, right? Horse bottle molotovs. Horse <laughs> bottle molotovs. Yes. <laughs> Horse at <laughs> and there goes. We'll call it the cavalry charge. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm still waiting for you to catch fire, just going. Fire is, you! is explosive powder a thing in this yet? <laughs> but the hairy to get is it? Yes. <sighs> All right. One second. Okay, so once the gift giving has been done, you're led through the house to the guest quarters. 
there is a suite of um, individual sleeping chambers set with uh, a small common area. We you find yourselves introducing yourself to other invited guests from an assortment of different clans. I'll be the rest of the group. Okay. So we, we share one room? Or, sorry, I, I, I just came back. I, I sleeping quarters. That's there will be one small common area, <clears throat> and then they have their own sleeping quarters branching ah. off that. Okay, okay. Are there any other minor clans here? No, not that you've met so far. You have oh, been told yeah. that there's a feast later on. So you'll get to meet the rest of the guests later. Okay. <laughs> and the wedding's being held in a couple of days' time. I don't want to be uh, among my own people here. No, you'll just stay here and uh, do the washing up. And, uh... <laughs> God damn it. We fill the horse bottles. You can talk to Neji. He's a <clears throat> conversationalist. <clears throat> <sighs> the servants let you know that there are other guests in attendance. Um, there are major members of the Akita family. There's the bride to be with her bodyguard. Um, representatives from some of the other clans. Pretty much what you'd expect from uh, a great clan wedding. So, would it, this be a bad time, you know, seeing as I'm a uh, wary person, would it be a bad time to try and investigate to see if I notice anything? <coughs> seeing if I'm kind of a person who kind of sees danger everywhere? Would it? Um... Well, I take the opportunity to uh, freshen up after the travels, take a bath and yeah, have the opportunity to bath in the, the bath house, or the, the bath in the house. You can socialize there, and there will be a small feast in the evening. So is that a no on a, a notice check? Um, it depends. I mean, do you want to go through the house? Do you want to go through the gardens? Do you want to take a walk out into the city? Hmm. Where would be the most likely place if something was to go down or something nefarious was to happen? Or... I think I'll go around outside in the city. Just go around to see if I can see anything. Okay. Um, you can give me a notice check and again you can give me a courtier roll, see if you pick up any gossip. Okay, my notice check is 36. Okay. And my court here, oh, that's two and... Seventeen. Uh, okay, you pick up a couple of <coughs> bits of information. Um, don't know if they're true or not, because you're just, you know, overhearing conversations as you go past. Um, it's rumored that the Lion Clan champion himself, Matsu Nomuru, is going to attend the wedding ceremony. This is a pretty big deal. Mm. A little while later, you hear... Well, over here, a pair of what looks like merchants discussing the upcoming wedding and mentioning that the Akita family seems to have been suffering from a curse for the last few <laughs> generations with several daimyo either having children die or dying quite young themselves. <laughs> Akamitsu is the sole heir to Akita Tanaka and he's seen as quite old and unhealthy. If anything were to happen to him the Aikida family could disappear. Could I approach them and uh, talk to them? Since, you know, I am a, I can talk to the lower class without suffering anything from it. 
mm-hmm. where, where I gain anything from doing a sincerity deceit check with them, you know, pretending I actually care about what they're talking about. Blackadder style, try to like, tie a sock around your head going, Greetings, I'm a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> You can make a roll, see if you can get any more information out of them. So just make a, should I make an investigation, sincerity, courtier? Uh, given you're simply chatting with them, courtier is probably the best. Courtier, okay. <coughs> uh, 24. Okay. Um, the only thing that really stands out from the remainder of the conversation is that one makes a comment that um, he hopes this wedding goes better than the last one did, and the other one's like, not in front of the strangers. Wow. And I casually asked him if the wedding plan for the last wedding was named George R. Martin by the way. Afraid not. Oh. That's probably a good thing. Scorpions send their regard. Yeah, meanwhile, I, after freshening up and uh, so on, I just take a stroll in the garden. Okay. Um, <coughs> towards twilight. It's not quite dark yet. Uh, there are servants stringing up paper lanterns between the trees. Uh, cherry blossoms are drifting on the wind. There is a little ornamental pond with some koi in it. It's very nice. Very serene. There's also a little uh, sand pit zen garden where somebody could meditate if they chose. I will. I'm, I'm probably meditating there. Yeah, it appears somebody is meditating there. <laughs> <laughs> An ego's probably uh, playing the sand like crap people do. Like you damn it, you can tell by the fortification he's built at the southern end of the sand pit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I approach quietly so as not to disturb and uh, sit down myself. Okay. Time passes. Night yep. starts to slowly fall. Cherry blossoms drift through the air. <clears throat> Eventually, a servant dares to disturb you, pointing out that um, dinner will be commencing shortly, so if you needed to do anything back in your room beforehand, now would be the time to go. I stop levitating and return to my room. Levitating? (laughs) All right, all right, Anne, calm down. Joking, joking. (laughs) That's a core, isn't it? Can we retcon back as in, like, after the the refreshing thing? I would like to, like, hang out... Um, check out the dojo area. Sure. There's, you've got a couple of hours before the meal starts, so everyone can be doing different things at different times. Exactly. Yeah. Um, it looks like a fairly standard dojo. Um, wooden floors, weapons on the walls. Um, you know, somebody inside practicing with a bokken. What's your bokken? Uh, wooden katana. Oh, nothing. All right, cool. But a strange. Right. Well, I mean, you've seen kata being done. Except he takes one move, <coughs> freezes in place for about thirty seconds, then makes the next move in the sequence. Another freeze. Next move. Okay. Is it like normal practice, or is this like abnormal? Could be. Well, normally when you're doing a kata, you're doing it at a set pace, where you okay. strike, 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 yeah. just work through the sequence of movements. Okay. Yeah, um, a kata is basically a preset series of movements <laughs> that you basically string together, and it's... Oh, you like you, it's you, like yeah, it's, it's essentially <laughs> memorized. It's, yeah, it's basically memorizing it. Yeah, you're practicing different cuts in sequence. Okay. Yeah, it's creating yeah. muscle memory. And this is just like making a cut, holding there, and then going to the other one, but very spaced out. 
yeah, um, as you watch, I mean, you can see that he's got his muscles locked in the move. It's not just bring it down and stop. He's actually holding the strike, which is probably doing something interesting to the muscles, but you're not entirely sure of what. Yeah, I'd approach. I'd like to, I'd like to see what's, what, what's going on. Okay. Whenever he notices you, he uh, stops, bows towards the far end of the dojo, sets the, the bokken back on the stand, and walks down <clears> towards <throat> you. All right. Well, I, uh, I bow in respect and uh, greetings. I am Peter Nobudo. I'm here on the behalf of your of, of, of the wedding. Uh, wedding guest. <laughs> I am Ikida. <clears throat> Danu. Greetings. I, I was curious. Sorry? And to you, Hida san. Uh, I was curious about the kata you were uh, practicing. Mm -hmm. It seems well, odd that you stay, you, you, that your cuts are so far apart. Not that strange. If somebody is moving from one cut to another, uh, there are places where it's difficult to maintain balance, and moving quickly from one to the other allows you to offset that. By holding the strike, you force yourself to to perfect your balance. I see. Would you care to demonstrate? <clears throat> I think you just did. Perhaps you would like to demonstrate uh, a crab strike in return. <coughs> Put it in the face. I think I could, yes. Hmm. Walks over to the wall, lifts a uh, bokken down. Please, mm -hmm. select a bokken. Like this. Take a bucket. Oh, uh, don't really see any difference in the one thing. Do I know any colors? That's... So he walks to the middle of the floor, gestures for you to join him, <coughs> and sets his bucket in a ready stance. I match the ready stance. Yep. You're effectively having a practice duel. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I hope it's practice. I hope you've taken skills in Aijutsu. I have two skills in Aijutsu. Well, Aijutsu is done from the draw. He's holding it. <coughs> oh, okay, so it's already drawn. Okay. Yeah. You can't do it either way. <laughs> Dueling works a little bit differently to normal combat. So let me see. Where is the proper rules for dueling? <clears throat> and don't worry, Igor, if you lose, you can just always just eat him. <laughs> <laughs> but what would I eat at the feast? <laughs> well, I guess I could drink from the horse bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Duly. So because you're, it's not an official duel, you're not dueling with live blades, yeah, it's not... Technically a jewel. Good. me till I find the proper rules here. I thought they were in the core book, but they're not. Yeah, I'm trying to find them as well. The only, the only thing I can find is, is uh, Yetsu Dueling. <coughs> what page is that on? Uh, for me, it's 80, uh, 87, but I've, I've got the fourth edition rule book here. Yeah. Yep, that's what I was looking for. Okay. I got them as far as page 86. 
<laughs> so yeah, it's assessment focus strike. Oh dear. Well, the assessment, you're basically studying your opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, you make a TN, uh, Aijutsu awareness roll, to see what information you can gather about them. Okay. So, for me, that will be roll three and keep two, I think. Okay. Yes. Roll three and keep two. Uh, uh, just a question about the other things, like the, the, the op optional configuration on this thing. It's no cold raises, never explode once, explode on ten? Yep. Stand okay. Roll. okay. Well, nice. uh, here's a question. Uh, the, w the way the rolls work, right, is you add your rank and your trait to see yeah. how many you so roll, yes, then your trait determines how many you keep. Yes. So yes. that seems like a very low amount of uh, you rolling, free. Yeah, I have two, I have two, two skills. Oh wait, then I have four. Isn't and it? what trait does it have? The agility, right? Uh, awareness, I think. Oh, awareness. So you add yeah, your two, awareness that's, that's two, to the... Yeah, no, sorry, that's two. That's, uh, I don't know why I put three awareness. there. I don't know why I put three there. Right, then four. Oh, I'll roll again. Roll. Eighteen. He has a big stick. Hmm. I wrote a 9, 9, 8, and a 7, so... Yep. You can't really tell anything about him. Oh, fine. He's masking very well. Hmm. Okay. So how do we proceed from here? The next stage is focus. Make okay. a contested Aijutsu focus slash void roll. So another Aijutsu roll then? Yeah. Okay. Twelve. So, this is taking far too long to be good. This is not good. <laughs> gonna chop my armor for a wooden sword. How did you even do that? <laughs> the fuck? Okay. Basically, what you can tell at this point is this guy is better than you. That's so great. <laughs> Fun. You're immediately starting to, rec to regret your actions. It's not his. I mean, you've analyzed the guy. You can't read him. He's a you know, stone wall for all you can get out of him. That means he's very good. He's very focused. He's very centered. Mm -hmm. You can still take a swing at him, but he's probably going to be faster than you are. Oh, yeah, of course. Two choices at this point. One is if you declare an attack and he's faster, he will swing first. Mm -hmm. The other is you bow to him. You simply acknowledge you are the better warrior. You call him Senpai. Yeah, you're saying that he is a superior warrior. <laughs> yeah, but if I uh, attack, I, I still kind of, well, I, I can still like retcon that afterwards. I click, uh, basically, what I want to do, I, I actually want to see this in practice on my person. That's what I'm going for. Like, I want him to attack me and strike me to, to see what, what, what happens. Okay. Like, I know it's going to fucking hit me uh, by, by now, but, you know, I, I just want to see him do his uh, kata magic. Okay, so you start to make your move, he swings. His attack rolls 25. What's your TN? TN on what? On what? My armor? Uh, you're not wearing armor, so it's going to be your reflexes times 5 plus 5. 15, and a reduction of... No, no, no reduction. Sorry, 15. No. So, he hits you. Ow. Let's roll damage here. Because it's a Bok and it's only keep one. Mm -hmm. And he does three points of damage. Ow. Actually, I'll take the, the rears from that. So, rather than doing any damage, he basically just brings the Bok and, and it stops. At the neck. Barely touching your skin. Huh. 
and I could see his muscles being like tight and all that stuff. Yeah, like, like before, it, it, it was exactly where he was making the cut and holding it. Mm-hmm. You can see that same poise. Okay. Very impressive. I lower everything. He draws the sword back and bows politely. I bow a little bit deeper. Well, go ahead. I have spent uh, many years training young lions. It's quite possible you're talking to the sensei of the dojo here. I I kind of figured that by now, yes. (laughs) Well, hope hope that you uh, enjoy the rest of the wedding. I will. Thank you for uh, showing me these. uh... No, show me how your technique works, and I'm fairly certain that these lions you've trained are very fierce. The best lesson is one that only needs learning once. <laughs> I agree. Put the bucket down and just, you know, yep. struggle out to the dead. And what lesson did Igor learn? Big wooden stick hurts. Well, there's a guy next to didn't hit. Well, well, I mean, a bokken is the same size as a katana. It's about maybe half an inch thick, solid wood. If somebody whacks you with it, you are going to feel it. Uh, ever heard of Miyamoto Musashi? Famous Japanese swordsman? Yeah, heard about it, but... According to the legend, um, he got so famous as a duelist, nobody would fight him. He switched over to a bokken in order to get people to fight him. And he still beat everybody. Yeah. And that's going up against a wooden block and against a live steel katana. Was he also the one who dual wielded? Or was it another one? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. So, is there anything anyone else is doing at the moment while uh, Igor is getting his teeth kicked out? Yeah. Well, Sorry, uh, uh, Miss, I was muted. Musashi was the guy who dual wielded. He, he okay. was very controversial, controversial at, uh, at the time. Hmm. Uh, would the servants be available to have conversations with? Um, possibly. What sort well, of conversation? Well, I. I I don't. I'm not personally going to converse with them. I'm going to send my servant to 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 to, to gossip with the, ser, you know, the the house servants. Yeah, you can try that. Is there any kind of gossip in particular you're looking for? Um. Any anything anything particular of interest about the groom and the bride? Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, he's done quite well. Uh, when he comes back to tell you, um, there are rumors that Ikeda Tanaka, the family daimyo, pulled extensive political strings to get this marriage. Ooh. Potentially the last of his political strings. Is all coming together now. Yes. But of course, we do have to remember that uh, most of us don't actually know that. Like, I only know the things I've heard, and well. Fear not, fear not. Anything else? Um, not in reference directly to the wedding, but there's been an announcement of a new Emerald Tournament to be held in a month or two's time. Ooh. Just champion. What was that last bit? I uh, I didn't quite hear that. The tournament for a new Emerald Champion. The main contenders are expected to be the Korean Lion and Scorpion. On that note, uh, I would like to make a courier check to ask to inquire more about the champ, the Lion Champion coming to the wedding as to what his purpose here would be. 
who are you looking to talk to? The the wedding guests. At the moment, you don't have an opportunity to talk to them. That'll probably oh. be happening during the the evening meal. You'll have a chance to mingle and chat with the different guests. All right. If there's nobody wanting to do anything else prior to the meal, we can skip on to that. If no one bothers me while I'm meditating, then yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good as well. Yeah, yeah, let's let's yeah, let's move on. 